and the purpose of this is to be able to tr record the crossing that the mouse performs. The next field is known as the whole board. As you can see, the field is divided into two sections, the center and the periphery. Doing so allows us to determine how comfortable or nervous each mouse is. Another characteristic we score is the number of times each mouse looks in each hole. We tally the hole the mouse looks through, each hole corresponding to a number. The upper left hole is number one and it goes all the way down to number 16, the, up, the lower right hole. This maze is called the marble bearing maze. In this maze, we test the mice's reaction to foreign objects. So each mice is placed in a cage in with that has a four by five formation of marbles, and we and we record their reaction to these. Normally, mice that feel threatened by these marbles would dig and co try and cover them up, and there are also mice that ignore these marbles completely. So to record the movement of the mouse in each cage, we use a program called EthoVision. EthoVision requires a camera and it traces the mouse's movement along the cage. As you can see on the right corner, MAOA knockout mouse tends to stay in the center while underneath it, the wild type mouse tends to stay along the peripheral region. EthoVision also tells us the distance traveled and the entries the mouse makes into the center of the map. As you can see, black represents wild type and gray represents knockout. The black color of the wild type mouse shows that it tends to move more frequently into the center while the knockout mouse does not move as much. So in conclusion, we have identified the behavioral changes that occur in MAO deficient mice. We also concluded that the deficient mice's behavior resemble those of autistic humans. For future research, we hope to apply our studies to human autism and see if we can make a correlation between the two 
topics. Future research, we hope to continue studying MAO deficient mice in different environments. We also want to find a relationship between mice and humans with MAO deficiency. So, possible sources of errors. In our project, as we recorded the movement of every single mouse, we only use one angle of vision. We were limited to images from the side and the corners, etc. We also could have some pipetting errors and contamination occur in our electrophoresis gels and also with our extracting of DNA and we would like to conclude our project. For acknowledgments, we would like to acknowledge Dr. Kevin Chen, Anna Scott, Sean, Mr. Hike, family and friends.